Welcome back to your YouTube channel, Accounts Gurukul. Learn accounting online. So today we are here to discuss about SAP FICO end user. If you want to work as an end user in SAP FICO, then you should have below listed knowledge, but not limited to. So uh, if you are going to somewhere and there the SAP is the accounting software is there. And if you want to uh, work on the SAP as an end user, then, then you should have below listed knowledge. So what knowledge is going to be required to perform as an end user for SAP? That's what we are going to discuss here. We have plotted down the 20, we have plotted down around 38 points related to that. You have to have the knowledge with you. And if you have, then you are ready to work on SAP as an end user. So, and, and again, that's not the limited. It's going to be more, but we try to capture as much as possible. And having said that the list is around 35 plus and around 38. So we are going to discuss that. So request viewers to be with us. And if you're looking some kind of such kind of any uh, SAP FICO training, then you, you have to ensure that whatever we have plotted here, that all things you should be able to learn from that trainings. And again, it's not limited to, there might be the more we need to learn, but at least whatever we have plotted here, at least that much you have to ensure you have the skill at your end when you are going to uh, complete your course or when you yourself or feel that you are, uh, have the enough knowledge in SAP FICO, then you have to ask the question to yourself, are you going to perform all these activities what we have mentioned here in SAP? So that's what we are going to discuss here. So request viewers to be with us till the end of this video and request viewers to like, share and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to accounting and finance. In addition to that, if you want to uh, go for any sort of training related to P2P, O2C, R2R, FVNA, or if you're looking for any sort of consultancy related to accounting and finance, then you can connect with us on our email ID, accounts.gurukul at the rate yahoo.com. So it's going to be SAP FICO, work of end user in SAP FICO, but not limited to define account group. You should know that how the account group is going to be defined in the system. It's not your responsibility, but you should know that because this is going to be uh, technical stuff, but you should know that how accounts code we do define into SAP. Assign fiscal year variant to company code. So here, it's expectation from you is that you should be able to know that what's mean by fiscal year in SAP and how many periods are there into the SAP. It's a 12 as a normal and four as adjustment period. So total 16 period is there into the SAP. Open and close posting periods. So this concept, you should be well versed with this. What's mean by open and close posting periods and how we have to do that. So you should have knowledge about this. Posting keys. This is the most important because when you are doing the journal entry or when you are processing any invoices, payment into the systems, booking the invoice, raising the invoice, then you should be able to know that what the posting keys you have to use for that. So that's also is required. You have to have the knowledge about that. Next is going to be creation of GL accounts. How you are going to create the GL account into SAP. That's also you should know that. And, and, and when you have the idea about this, then it's going to be uh, provide the data to technical team. Might be the responsibility is not with you and with the technical team, but how to create that GL code into the systems, you should know that if it's responsibility with your end or else you have to provide in Excel to your technical team to create the GL accounts. GL account posting single screen transactions. So if you are going to do the journal entry into the systems through the single screen transactions, then how you have to do that, what's the T code you have to use for that, that also is essential for you to know. GL account line item display, how you are going to pull the GL down from the systems, what's the T code is going to be used to 
get that report where you are able to know that GL account line item display report from the system. For that, you should be able to know that how you are going to pull out that report to know the journal ledger dump. GL account balances. If you want to see the GL account balances, how you are going to do that, what T code you are going to use for that. Financial statements. If you want to generate the financial statement, then how you are going to do that? Being a user, you should be aware about that, how you are going to generate the financial statements. Enter accrual, deferral, document. How you are going to do the entry for accruals and deferrals in the systems? That should, and what, what T code you are going to use for that? You should be able to know this. Reversal accrual deferral documents. Once you enter the accruals in the systems, how you're going to do the reversal of that? That also is essential for you to know. Display documents, whatever you have reversal, reverse the entries, you are how you are going to display that documents. Creation of vendor master, how you are going to create the vendor in the system. That, that's the essential from the P2P standpoints when you are booking the vendor invoices, and if the vendor is not there in the system, then how you are going to create the vendor in the system. Posting invoice into the systems. When you are going to enter the invoices into the systems, then how you are going to do that? Being a end user, you should be able to know or well versed with all these things related to posting invoices into the systems. Open invoice report. When you turn the accounting entries for your vendor invoices, and if you have to see the open invoices report from the system, then how you are going to do that? That's reasons you should be aware about that, how you are going to see open invoice report. Manual outgoing payment. If you have to do the payment manually instead of automatic, then how you are going to do that? That's a manual outgoing payment. Preparing vendor aging report. Instead of repost, just consider here report. Yeah. So preparing vendor aging report, how you are going to extract the vendor aging report from the SAP. Creating purchase orders in the systems, how you are going to create the purchase order in the systems. Creating goods receipt, if the GRN you have to do, then how you are going to do that into the system. Advance payment posting. If you have, if you received any certain, if you are giving any certain advance payment to your vendors, how you are going to do the posting of that into the system? Automatic payment. If you want to do the run of automatic payment, how you are going to do that? Transfer of advance from special GL to normal GL by clearing. So whatever you have done the advance payment, and if you have to transfer that from the transfer GL, from advance from special GL to normal GL by clearing, how you are going to do that. Clearing of normal atom. Create payment term conditions, how you're going to create the payment terms in the systems for your vendors. Assign pay term to vendor master. When you are going to create the vendor itself, you have to send it this to technical team, and this is not going to be with you. But you should know that what details you have to provide it and how it's going to be created in the system. Assign GL for auto post. Customer master data. How you're going to create the customers in the system. Sales invoice posting. How you're going to post the sales invoices. Open item for AR. Whatever you have the customers open invoices. How you're going to pull the open item invoices report from the system. Payment received from customer, receipt applications. How you are going to do the receipt applications in the systems, whatever the payment you have received from your customer. Preparing customer aging report. So how you are going to pull out the customer aging report from system. Clear customer down payment. How you are going to clear the down payment of customer. Depreciation run in SAP. How you are going to run the depreciation into SAP. Create sales order. How you are going to create the sales order in the systems. Change or modify existing sales order. If there is any order is there, existing sales order, if you have to do the change, then how you are going to do that? Display of sales order. Analyze the GRIR clearing account. And the last is journal entry report. Whatever you have the 
post is the journal entries in the systems, how you are going to see the journal entry report from the systems, from the SAP. So at least if you are thinking towards the walk into the SAP as an end user, and if you want to work as an as an end user in SAP FICO, then you should have above listed knowledge, but not limited to. So we have added there the 32 terms which are going to be related to your accounting and finance. And you should be aware about that, how it's going to be work. And then you are going to be work as an end user. So that's what we have captured. And again, it's mentioned, it's but not limited to. There might be it's going to be more. So related to that, if you think that anything is need to create any content on that, then you can put it in the comment and we will create the content for that. And uh, thanks guys for being with us till the end of this video. So request viewers to like, share and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to accounting and finance. In addition to that, if you want to connect with us for any software training as well related to accounting and finance, either it's SAP or Oracle or any other softwares, or if you're looking for any sort of training related to R2R, to R, P2P, O2C, FP&A. And if you're looking for any sort of consultancy as well related to accounting and finance, then you can connect with us on our email ID, accounts.gurukul at the rate yahoo.com. Thank you.